What's going on guys and welcome to yet another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can animate your logo using the moving effect. Basically, the moving effect is simply a smooth transition between shapes changing form. Without anything further to do, let's get started. So basically, I've already uh, created all the necessary shapes that will be needed to animate the logo. These three shapes here and the logo itself right here. So the only thing I need to do is to copy everything here and I paste it in my original composition which I'll be using for the animation. So the next thing to do is to rename all of these layers and arrange them accordingly. So to start animating, I'll select all of these three logo icons here and I bring them behind. I'll start animating these shapes here before getting into the logo. So select all of the shapes here, hit P for the position keyframes, to the keyframe and I move 20 frames ahead by pressing ctrl shift with the right arrow key to it to move 20 frames ahead set another keyframe here and I'll go to the very start of the keyframe and I drag these shapes out of the composition move ahead here and I'll press shift arrow so I'll maintain this position while adding the rotation keyframe here set a keyframe here move 10 frames ahead and set another keyframe and for this keyframe here I'm going to give it a rotation of let's say 1 which will Cause this um, shapes to rotate with an angle of 360 degrees. Select all of the keyframes, hit F9 to easy easy keyframes. Go to my graph editor and I'll bring these handles behind. Animate in like this. And what I want to do next is to set another position keyframe. So I move 10 frames ahead. Select these very layers again, the shape layers. Set another position keyframe. Move 10 frames and set another position keyframe. Come to this middle keyframe here and I bring this up by holding shift that like maintains a straight line so since this is, this is having a curve here this path is having, having a curve and we don't need that I'll select these shapes individually and I adjust this uh, curve handles here as you can see this dot here indicates the handle for this path, path here I'll hold out and click and adjust this this so is having a straight line and same thing with the circle here and same goes with the triangle and again, when I move 10 frames ahead, let me bring this back again. So next thing to do, come right here again, at this position here. Select all of these shape layers, press Shift S, add a scale keyframe, move 10 frames ahead, set another keyframe. And again, set another keyframe. Come to this middle keyframe here, and I'll uncheck this chain icon here. So basically, when the shapes goes up like this, don't need to deform or don't need to stretch out. I'll reduce the, their sizes, the width, and for the height, I'm going to increase them just a little. So when they come down, I'll just deform them just a little and stretch it out. Select all of these scale keyframes. Hit F9 is easy, easy keyframes. Go to my graph editor, and I pull these handles in. So what we have is the shape to animate in and goes up and down with the scale. So basically, to animate this, uh, the logo shapes, I'll start right here in the middle of this keyframe. Select everything. Select, um, sorry, select just the icon layers. And I press the left angle bracket key. So everything will start here. Press T for the opacity keyframes. Set a keyframe here. Move 20 frames ahead. Set another keyframe. And come back to the start. And bring everything down to zero. Select all of the keyframes. Hit F9 is easy, easy keyframes. I'm going to my graph editor and bring this bit in. And same thing with the shape layers. Select all of them. Now, while selecting individually, I press uh, the control key, hold shift, and press T to maintain the other keyframes while adding the opacity keyframes. Move 20 frames ahead again and set another keyframe here. Come to the very end of the keyframes and bring everything down to zero. And select all of the keyframes and hit F9 to easy, easy keyframes. Go to the graph editor and bring this in. So what we have now is a smooth transition, but to make this to be more interesting, I'll move this playhead right here in the center of these opacity keyframes. And I'll go to layer, new, and adjustment layer. Come right to my effect and presets and I'll search in Gaussian blur. Drag this onto the uh, adjustment layer here and I'll search in levels and put this onto the adjustment layer. With the adjustment layer selected, I'll come to my Gaussian blur layer and I'll set a keyframe here. Press U to make the keyframes be visible. Move 10 frames ahead, set another keyframe, and 10 frames and set another keyframe here. Right at the center where this uh, transition takes place, I'll give it a blur of about, a, let's say 100. While the playhead is still at the center, I'll come to my levels. I'll go to from RGB, I'll change this to alpha. And I'll bring this in somewhere around the center of these levels here and so it's uh, like somehow sharp not really blurry and so it's somehow sharp and not really blur 
just um, somewhere let's say around here this will work just fine again i'll come right at the start of, of this uh, keyframes here and i'll add a turbulent balance so we have turbulent displays set a keyframe for the amount move again to the center and set another keyframe here and at the end set another keyframe right at the center i'll allow the amount at 50. but for the start it has to be at zero and at the end at zero so what this turbulence balance does is um it really uh, gives it more uh, distorted effect like really changing the shape of these icons here as you can see it now really animates with a kind of unique shape and another thing that i'm going to add is the evolution keyframes i've set the keyframe here move right here and set another keyframe and for the start of this evolution i'm going to give it an angle of 180 degrees select this out of keyframes hit f9 is easy, easy keyframes and select these others and hit f9 is easy, easy keyframes so i move 10 frames ahead and press n cut this work area right here and i press the space bar to play the animation so as you can see the moving effect takes place right from here which all the shapes now changes to red but right here um, i really want this circle here with this dot to be visible so what i can do is select this adjustment layer and i'll come again right to the levels these levels here and i can bring this in again you can see as i bring this in it now disappears basically you can use this morphing effect to do all kind of uh, transitions not only with logos and that's it on how you can use the, the morphing effect to animate your logos on after effects thanks for watching guys and hope you learned something new today and if you did just smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tutorials on animation and motion graphics peace out